Well, good morning. Zach Bonzik here, owner of the Transcends Real Estate Group at Keller Williams and business coach with Middleton Elite Coaching. Today's August 29th, 2022, and we just got some fresh numbers out um, for our local market here in the Lake Norman area. Now, I'd like to share some statistics with you because there's a lot of news out there that lots of people are consuming. Oftentimes, it's more hyperbolic to get you emotional and get you sort of wrapped up in the moment. However, one of the reasons we're in your life, meaning real estate professionals, or we're here to look at the numbers on a hyper-local level. We're here to break down the numbers for specific markets to help you make more informed decisions. And so I'm going to talk about Lake Norman in North Carolina today because that's the place that I live and I work and I play. And it's the place that I've chosen to be a local real estate expert in. And so what I'd like to do is just run you through a handful of numbers today so that you can make better real estate decisions if you've considered buying a home or even selling your home and moving up, moving laterally, or even moving out of the area. And so let's kind of dive in a little bit. But before we get started, uh, if you want, I can be found on Facebook um, at Transcends Group, um, T-R-A-N-S-C-E-N-Z Group. And I can also be found on Instagram at Zach Sells, L-K-N. And I'd love for you to follow me if you'd like to keep up with the local Lake Norman real estate market. All right, so let's kind of dive in here. Um, the graph that I'm showing here, um, there's a couple of things I'd like to point out. The first thing is, is um, the market is changing and it's changing in a way that's actually both beneficial to sellers and it's beneficial to buyers. And so the first graph that I'm showing here is actually a representation of how many new listings have come on in the market in the top five areas in the Lake Norman area. And so those, like, those include Lake Norman Waterfront, which is the entire lake. It includes Mooresville 28115 zip code, uh, Mooresville 28117 zip code, Davidson and Cornelius, and Huntersville. Okay, so what we're going to look at here is comparing starting in May, because we got about four months here in order to establish some trending. Um, so in May, we saw that a lot of the market was kind of saturated. If you'll remember, if you were in the market at that time, very few listings, lots of buyers in the market, very frustrating to find the home that you like, and even more frustrating when you couldn't actually get the deal that you wanted because there was another 15 or 20 or even 30 people outbidding, going well over asking price, high due diligence fees, just a really chaotic situation. And the reason for that was obviously we had a very low inventory of homes in all markets. In fact, here, um, anywhere between 50 and 100 listings in each of those major markets, if you consider that, that's very, very low supply and a really, really high demand still. Now, as we move across into June, we see inventory increasing. And then July inventory in every category spikes, most notably in the Huntersville market. And then, of course, things begin to level off but they're still very, very high. And so the, the, the point we try to make with this, this chart is, is that there's a lot more inventory uh, available to the market. And so if you were somebody that might've been frustrated back in May or even June, because there was not enough homes to choose from and decided to put your house hunting ambitions on hold, guys, there's a lot more homes on the market and we can see that uh, in the numbers and the numbers never lie. And that's one of the reasons I love talking about these things. Now, the second thing I really want to bring home, and I'm going to move here in just a minute so you can see the other part of the chart, but one of the things that we have to be very, very careful of as, as, as real estate agents and as, um, as we convey and help educate the market around the local market, remembering that, again, real estate is hyper-local. So what I'm sharing with you now in Lake Norman may not be the case where you actually live. And so I just want to illustrate for those that are in the Lake Norman area or those that may consider moving here, these are the real numbers and how they bear out. And so the two other statistics I'd like to share with you today is the first one is the average days on market. And the average days on market tells us how, how hot the market is and how quickly homes are being absorbed into the market. And so when we look at that and we say, okay, well, if we've heard that the average days on market is beginning to lengthen, meaning they're sitting on the market longer, for whatever reason, maybe there are less buyers or um, the price may be too high and we need to make a price adjustment. Any of those factors can cause days on market to go up. But it's really interesting here in Lake Norman over the past four months, and here's what we're seeing. Average days on market for lakefront property has actually gone down. Average days on market for the uh, Mooresville 28115 market have also gone down over the last several months. And it's an interesting trend that every little major town around Lake Norman, 
the trend line is going down for days on market. So where we would see a higher days on market translated or said slightly differently, um, less demand, maybe price adjustments need happening. Guys, we're not seeing that. And again, the numbers tell us the story. And again, these are averages and each price point may have a slightly different story. However, when we look at averages, we can make some general inferences about the market. Now, the third piece that I want you to look at is the average sales price to the list price. And again, so what we think we have been hearing is, is that people have been going into the market with a really high price and then of having to make price adjustments. And while we are seeing some evidence of that in certain markets, Again, the trend line shows us a different story. And so in lakefront properties over the last four months, homes have been selling at 99% of the list price. And that's a trend that hasn't moved. It's stable for the last four months. The same thing in both of the Mooresville markets in both 28115 and 28117. It is held steady at 102 and 101. And that means that if a home was listed at $200,000, in one of the markets, it would be selling for 202,000. If it was in the other market, it would be selling for 204,000. And so we're still seeing homes selling for over asking price as compared to maybe homes being offered or maybe an offer being lower than asking price or negotiating the price. Now, there are complexities here and I don't want you to mishear what I'm saying or that I'm not misrepresenting the reality. We are starting to see a bit of a softening there. And again, it's gonna, you're going to have to count on your local real estate agent who is really focused on the market that you're interested in to help you make sense of what the best way to proceed with an offer might be. But again, wrapping it up, um, uh, Davidson and Cornelius, both still at 101% of sales price to list price. And rounding it out, Huntersville is continuing to be at about 103. And so guys, what this all means is that in the Lake Norman area, if you're a seller, great time to sell. I don't think that we should look, go crazy on our asking price. I think we should let the market tell us what that looks like. And your, your local real estate agent should be able to share that with you and give you evidence to back up a really solid pricing strategy. If you're a buyer in the market, you can see the charts telling us we got a lot more to choose from. And so if you're going out there and you're wanting to get under contract and you're wanting to find your next home, speak with your local real estate agent. He's or she is gonna be able to help you make really, really great choices help you create offers that win and help to get you in the next home. And so again, this is Zach Bonzik with Keller Williams Realty and the Transcends Real Estate Group right here in Lake Norman, where I live, work and play. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. And if you've ever got any questions, please feel free to reach out. 704-960-2901. I look forward to talking to you.